I've been around tools for a really long time, and you look at something like a drill press, and you say, well, what can you possibly do to a drill press to make it bigger, better, faster, stronger? Um, and in all honesty, I get surprised every once in a while, like I did here. This is the Voyager drill press from Nova, and it's like the, one of the smartest tools in the shop. It's kind of interesting, all of the different things that they've done. So let's start with some of the kind of low-hanging fruit, some of the stuff that's really cool right off the bat, and then we'll get deeper and deeper and deeper into what the drill press is capable of. So one thing that you might notice right away is that there's no hood to open on this machine. There's no belts to change. Speed changes are done with this dial right here. In addition to the speed change being done there, the digital readout is telling us what the RPM are. Well, so why is that a big deal? What's cool about that? Well, if you've owned a drill press that's got step pulleys and a V-belt, I would ask how many times you actually get in there and change the speed depending on what you're doing. I think we all have a tendency to just kind of leave it on one speed and hope for the best. So great flexibility here with that ability to really dial in the speed. The other thing that's pretty cool, it's got a really long stroke on the quill. It's six inches, great depth of drill capacity there. Now, of course, we don't always want to drill six inches. So another thing I really like is the way that we can rapid advance the stop, can also finesse the stop, just very easy to use. Now, this is a mechanical stop here. The drill press also includes a stop within its smarts, and we'll talk about that a little bit in just a bit. Very nicely set up there. So that's kind of some real easy to, you know, conventional drill press features that compare to other drill presses, but let's look at some stuff that this machine can do that other drill presses can't do. So this is gonna give us an opportunity to get inside the display. And before we look at depth of drill, let's go back one to this part of the display. This is cool. When you're about to drill a hole and you wanna make sure that you're running at the correct speed based on what type of drill bit, what size of drill bit, what type of material, we can choose this. And once we've chosen this setting, softwood, hardwood, acrylic, whatever it is, it'll set the drill press to that speed. So that's pretty darn cool. Now in this part of the menu, we can set the depth here. So one of the things I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna zero the drill press out so it knows where the top of the material is. So what I'm doing right now is I'm kissing the drill bit down to the top of the stock and I'm gonna zero so now the machine knows that that's the top of my material. Now we'll go back into our menu. And here we can dial in what we want our depth of drill to be. So let's set that for 7 16 Now this is pretty cool. When I drill the hole, the machine is smart enough that when it gets to the right depth, it's actually gonna to come to a stop. The drill bit itself is gonna stop. So right at 7 16 that bit simply stops running. Now the other thing that's happening is that an audible beep is coming off of the drill press and I can hear it as I approach the bottom. It's warning me that I'm getting to the bottom of the hole and it might be too subtle for you to hear on your end of this, but it's coming out of the drill press head here. So again, that gives me a warning. I slow down my feed rate a little bit as I'm sneaking up on the bottom of the hole. So that's pretty cool. We can electronically set depth of hole. How about electronically starting the drill bit? So ironically enough, it's called here, self start. Turn that on, come back to our menu. Now watch what's gonna happen here when we drill the hole. As I approach the work, obviously the drill bit's not running now, I'm not gonna touch the on switch. As I approach the work, it turns itself on. We drill the hole to our 7 16 depth. It stops, we come out, cycle back to the top of the quill, get to our next hole location, approach the work. So each time I do this, it's allowing me to just one-handed, one hand on the board, one hand on the quill, handle this operation.
pretty cool stuff. Everybody knows that if you're going to drill into round stock, you got to center punch it first so that the drill bit doesn't wander around on the surface before it starts drilling the hole, unless you're doing that operation here. In this case, working through the menu, I'm on what's now called the pilot setting, and that allows the drill bit to get started on my round stock. I haven't done any center punching on that conduit. What happens is we start at a real low RPM, get in the correct location, start drilling, and the drill press can tell by load when it's finished the pilot hole, and then it steps up to the higher RPM to complete the operation. So pretty cool, saves you the center punching step on round stock. Let me walk you through some other functions we can have a look at here on the display. Look in here, look at that, REV. You can run the drill press in reverse. That's part of our menu. You can, of course, also turn that off, so that's handy. Now, the other thing is we can change our speed by turning the dial, and if I simply turn the dial, it's making real big changes. If I press the dial in and turn it, it's making finer changes, or like buttons on a radio, we can also use presets. And these presets can be edited within the menu. So if you have your own favorite numbers that you want to put in there, you can do that. A lot of pretty cool stuff on here. Another thing that I like a lot is that it's got a braking function. So I've got a massive drill bit in there right now, a big Forstner bit. Let me get the speed in the right spot and run that. And power down. And watch how fast that Forstner comes to a stop. Big massive drill bit, but with the electronic brake on there, brings it to a stop really quickly. Large table on this drill press. If you're a woodworker, you gotta love that because we're working with carcass sides and that kind of stuff. Of course, the table is capable of tilting so you can drill angled holes. Another thing that's pretty neat is what's called tap assist. If you've ever tapped a hole, you know that what you need to do is bring the tap in perfectly perpendicular to the surface, advance it, then back it up to break the chip. Advance it, back it up, advance it, back it up. You can actually do that whole operation right here on this drill press. So if you're drill press shopping, it's worth a look. If nothing else, this ability to change speed here with that dial instead of moving step pulleys around is really cool. And the electronic control that that brings to the table is a great function, a lot of functionality added to the drill press. So the Nova Voyager, it's definitely worth a look if you're shopping for a drill press. Mm -hmm.